Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host Shazeb signing in. We're back with another video, guys. In this video, we will be discussing Stellar XLM. Everything you need to know about XLM. It's going to be an interesting one, guys. So make sure to watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff, then subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon. So do check that out as well only if you're interested and folks keep your assets safe and for that you guys can check out the crypto growth exclusive discount offer on decent decent is convenient safe and secure you can check out their biometric wallet which has got an attractive $50 off and you can also check out their biometric wallet 2x package guys which has got a phenomenal $129 off only if you follow the link in the description box below by the way folks decent supports 3000 plus of your favorite coins and tokens and it supports 50 plus blockchain mainnets including our favorite stellar i personally prefer storing the assets in a cold hardware wallet so do check out decent and be safe anyways guys let's see what's happening with stellar i found a really interesting article for you guys for you guys over here look at this september 20th 2024 by mr daniel martin investing in stellar xlm everything you need to know so guys this article is for those that are uh, uh, that have heard uh, about stellar for the first time as well as the veterans that want to refresh their memories as to what xlm is all about and why is it that damn good so let's see uh, it, this article over here so first and foremost guys stellar is a decentralized open source blockchain network that facilitates swift and low-cost cross-border transactions between any pair of currencies basically working as a middleman a middle person so it aims to connect financial institutions payment systems and individuals to create a more inclusive global financial infrastructure guys we've talked about how many people around the globe are unbanked 1.2 to 1.3 billion to be uh, approximately guys so uh, stellar wants to uh, include them in the financial infrastructure as well as revolution uh, revolutionize the financial institutions payment systems as well as individuals so how does stellar work the operation of the stellar network hinges on multiple things first and foremost the stellar consensus protocol stellar core anchors assets and the decentralized exchange guys so let's see what these have to offer first and foremost the stellar consensus protocol uh, stellar's consensus mechanism the stellar consensus protocol represents a significant departure from traditional blockchain consensus mechanisms like proof of work or proof of stake guys uh, if you already know about proof of work proof of work uh, works while mining coins you know the uh, best example of uh, pow is btc itself as far as proof of stake is concerned guys uh, P P o pos uh, the example is Ethereum. Basically, uh, people stake their coins to basically enhance the network security capabilities. Uh, so, yeah. So, basically, the SCP is built upon the Federated Byzantine Agreement principles, focusing on flexibility, scalability, and being energy efficient, guys. So, the Federated Byzantine Agreement, the core idea behind FBA and by extension, SCP is the concept of decentralized trust. Unlike systems requiring universal agreement among participants, FBA allows nodes in the Stellar network to, to, uh, to choose a subset of other nodes they trust to validate transactions. So basically a node that trusts another node and then uh, the, the trust factor will further validate the transaction guys. So this subset is known as a quorum slice. This innovation here is that trust is individualized. Each node has one or more quorum slices reflecting its trust decisions. 
the consensus process in SCP. The consensus process in SCP unfolds through two main phases, the nomination phase and the balloting phase, guys. So the first nomination phase, this phase kickstarts the consensus process where nodes propose what they believe should be the next set of transactions to confirm. So basically, uh, they're basically self-verifying as to which a set or next set of transactions should they confirm. The balloting phase, following the nomination phase, nodes engage in a more structured series of votes or ballots aimed at reaching a definitive agreement on the transaction set. And uh, guys, the third phase is the confirmation phase. How should the transaction be confirmed? Once a consensus is reached among these nodes, the agreed upon set of transactions is applied to the ledger, synchronizing the state of the blockchain across the entire network. So this is how the consensus process in SCP works, guys. So it ensures safety and liveness. SCP's design meticulously and carefully balances safety and liveness. Uh, safety in this context means the network will not validate conflicting transactions. So every uh, transaction uh, will be uh, agreed upon and uh, it will be consensus pay uh, based, which will co ensure consistency and liveness refers to the network's ability to continue processing transactions even in adverse conditions such as network part partitions or the presence of malicious actors means that uh, the network will continue on to uh, give the the uh, to to basically give due uh, uh, the utility use case and whatever is required by these financial institutions these organizations and whoever is using it so what advantage does it have over the traditional mechanisms of proof of work or proof of wealth so look at this SCP's departure from the energy intensive processes used in POW or the wealth concentration risk of POS presents several advantages. Guys, you've seen how energy consuming POW is uh, when it comes to BTC, BTC mining, the energy used in the mining, uh, mining infrastructure. Or guys, as the POS is concerned, the wealth concentration uh, amongst a few is a issue over there. It's uh, so uh, SCP is significantly more energy efficient, allowing for a greener blockchain solution. Transactions are confirmed within seconds, offering rapid rapid settlement ideals for financial applications. Guys, even uh, it, for a while now, uh, whenever I need to transfer something or an asset, I usually convert it to Stellar, guys, because it has one of the lowest and fees and it is one of the easiest assets to transfer, guys, even across the exchanges. You might have experienced that as well. So this is just a small, small use case, uh, use of it, basically. The flexible trust model enhances network resilience and scalability as consensus does not hinge on every node's agreement but rather on the overlapping consensus of trusted quorum slices. Furthermore, guys, anchors. Anchors act as bridges between the Stellar network and traditional financial systems, allowing users to deposit and withdraw fiat currency in exchange for Stellar's digital assets. Users can send fiat currency to an anchor, which then issues the equivalent amount in a digital asset on the Stellar network, guys. This process enables seamless currency exchange and cross-border transactions. Anchors are trusted entities such as banks, payment processors, or other financial institutions as well, guys. So uh, when we talk about the use case, the utility of Stellar, guys, it transcends transcends the, the, the traditional realm, guys. It goes across and transcends that towards uh, the financial institutions, the financial players, payment processes, bank, organizations. Uh, we've talked about United Nations, United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and others as well. And guys, it has a decentralized exchange, a DEX as well involved. Stellar includes a built-in decentralized exchange where users can trade assets issued on the network without the need for a central authority. The DEX supports limit and market orders, allowing users to trade directly from their wallets. This feature facilitates liquidity and enables easy currency exchange, contributing to Stellar's goal of financial inclusion, guys. Uh, the assets and tokens, the XLM or Lumens. Now, this is where the 
coin the utility coin of stellar uh, comes into play guys so what is the need of it and uh, uh, there are a lot of utility coins or projects that claim that their token is being used but guys stellar uh, the xlm is an integral part of stellar's ecosystem xlm serves several key functions guys so let's see what these functions are first and foremost foremost to facilitate transactions xlm is used to pay for transaction fees on the stellar network every transaction has a nominal fee to de debtor spamming the network act as a bridge currency guys so xlm can function as an intermediary currency in transactions between different currencies on the stellar network this feature is particularly useful in cross-border transactions where there might not be a direct market between the two currencies involved and stellar basically works as that middle uh, currency to facilitate that trade Maintain network security to open an account on the Stellar network. A minimum balance of one XLM is required. So uh, it is required to uh, it prevent large ledger spam and ensure that all accounts on the network are genuine. Provide liquidity in the net Stellar decentralized exchange. XLM can be used to trade against all other forms of currency or tokens issued on the network. This makes XLM a key liquidity provider, enabling users to convert between different assets easily. Enable access to financial services beyond its technical roles. XLM enables access to financial services on the Stellar network. This includes payments, remittances, and micropayments, guys. Uh, a lot of these micro players, the individuals will, in, will be involved in using the services of the Stellar ecosystem. By using XLM, users can engage in financial transactions that are faster and cheaper than traditional banking systems systems especially in the un underbanked regions of the world which we might call the global south the, the underdeveloped countries or the developing countries so stellar is a game changer for them guys so the stellar network supports creating and exchanging various digital assets and custom tokens that can represent fiat currencies commodities or any other form of value such as the real world asset tokenization that we're talking about and other prospects as well guys Guys. these assets can be traded on stellar's decentralized exchange as well so guys what do you guys think about stellar xlm and uh, i would really like your opinions of how you see it because i see it as a really great gem anyways guys this was it for the video if you liked it make sure to like share comment subscribe and hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems and you can also support the channel by becoming a patreon so do check that out like i always say in the end until next time stay blessed and stay tuned thank you very much everyone